going to introduce the video in Portuguese, then I will come back to you in English, okay? Yes. Tá gravando já? E aí, pessoal, mais uma entrevista diretamente aqui da CCP. Estou aqui com o Lorenzo de Felice. First of all, it's an honor to be interviewing you. Uh, it's your first time here in Brazil? Yes. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying it. Thank you. I am. Largest Comic Con in the world. I have to say it's rather impressive. Yeah. I mean, I was just, other than European conventions, I've been just to New York. And this one is easily twice as big and as bombastic than that. Yeah, yeah, it's a big event in Brazil. People come from all around the country just to be here. It's an ah, yeah. annual event, you know, people from... Brazil is a huge country, you know, so people from uh, the north side of Brazil come. And, uh, and I, I would like to ask you a first question. You started uh, in Italy that has a huge market, but it's very different from the American market. Uh, Bonelli is a classical comic book publisher, but how do you, did you deal with this transition between the European market that is a kind of comic book and the American market for you to work in? Yeah, so uh, it's been a, um, you know, a painful transition in a way in the beginning. Because, um, as you said, the Italian market, the European market, is a very huge market. But the problem in the Italian market, when I started up uh, drawing, when I started doing this kind of job, was that the market was very closed. And if you could draw the way they wanted you to draw, you could take part of it. Otherwise, you you should have done you know another choice or do, do another kind of line of job in the beginning i was kind of frustrated because i couldn't find my my place there and my first you know job the first job that i took was in france because france has a similar um, a similar situation but it's more you know um, there is more variety style wise and so while i was working for france i felt a little bit better and then my horizon widened even more when I, you know, Robert Kirkman basically called me one day out of the blue and asked me if I wanted to work with him. And at that point, I could, I knew that I, I could try more. I could try and and find my way to do stuff. And since then, it's been very liberating to be able to draw the way that I wanted to draw since the beginning without you know any kind of imposition and you are currently working with Robert Kickman in um, a lot of projects right in image but you did with him together oblivion song yes. right and you two created this post apocalyptic world together how much of your opinions and ideas are in the comic it was like 50 50 was who was more 70 30 how was it story wise everything was robert my kind of contribution was the designing contribution. Like, for example, the, the story uh, talks about uh, a planet or a dimension, rather, that is very different than ours. And so I could uh, choose how this, you know, this dimension looks, how it works, the biology inside of the of this world, this planet. And so all those choices, they summed up in some story choices, but a very you know superficial ones. Like for example, if I wanted a, a monster, a creature, to work and to live in a, some way, because my design, in in my idea, my design wanted that. He he would you know build a scene where that kind of design um, played a part. So you know that's my that that was my contribution. I didn't give him any idea about how the plot would uh, develop. And you two worked together on a comic book that was unannounced of a big event, but somehow it became like Transformers and G.I. Joe, and now it's like top 10, top 10 best-selling of every month. How was for you? Did, did he approach you and said, we are going to do a big thing, or he was just giving you the script and then it was a surprise for you too? No, no, I knew it from the beginning, and I knew it way, way, way before. So between Oblivion Song and this one, which is called Void Rivals, uh, I did a comic on my own, always for Skybound, but I wrote it, uh, draw, drawn it, and colored it. And while I was starting to do that, Robert came to me 
and he told me about this project. And even though I'm not like a, I don't have the nostalgia factor about Transformers and GI Joe, I love the way that he wanted to introduce the idea. He wanted to surprise the the readers, and I mean uh, I was completely fascinated by his you know his project, his plans, and and so I said yes, and I said as soon as I finish my project, I'm going to be you know on board with this, and and we started like that. Nice. Uh, last question. You wrote, you drew, you colored Chroma, and how was the process for you to do all of it? I know that maybe it's all in your head, so it's maybe easier, but it's also hard to do all the, the, the steps in creating a comic book. How was it for you, the process of making it? It was, it was incredibly fun, incredibly stressful, and incredibly rewarding. Because it's uh, writing is a job that I never did in this in this you know uh, size. I always uh, wrote comics, but smaller ones. This one is like almost 200 pages, so it's a little bit more. And so the part of planning things out and trying to build a plot with the real with the with the right kind of uh, rhythm and the right kind of pacing that was the trickiest part. But at the same time, when I did that, when you uh, you know uh, after you panicked and you started to freak out, when you see that some of the pieces start to come together, that's an incredibly rewarding moment. And then, I have to say, the best part is after it was all done, seeing and reading about reactions and the people reading it. And, you know, that was my story. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to say some things with the story. It's not like, for me, it's not just entertainment. It's also, you know, a way to express a message or express something, to tell something. And seeing that people reacted so positively to that is, is you know, uh, a, any kind of pain or, or suffering that went into the making of it was worth it. Thanks for talking to us. I hope you enjoy your stay in Brazil and enjoy your Comic Con. Thank you so much. Thank you.